great advice, but not easy to follow when your stock takes a dive, and the temptation is to get out before it gets any worse. Kevin Cork is a financial planner. But the idea is not to shoot yourself in the foot by making an emotional decision based on your current investments. Many of us are cautious investors. We work hard for our money, and we aren't too eager to risk it. But every once in a while, aren't we all tempted by a hot stock market tip? Only once. And what happened? I lost all my money. Would you ever do it again? No. Uh, I do my own research. And uh, I believe I create my own tips. What type of investor are you? Uh, conservative, usually. Yeah. Yes. Except the time you lost money. Exactly. Would you do it again? Uh, I, I'd like to say I wouldn't, but I probably would. I also think it's very risky, so maybe mutual funds, but really more into housing and stuff like that, investing into that area. If you're not sure about investing, get a professional financial planner. Their advice in the wake of the income trust announcement might surprise you. They still make sense as investments. They don't have that nice sweetening of a, of a tax treatment now, but the underlying core business organization, effectively a company, is still a viable, profitable firm. They're just 20% on sale now. So buy low, sell high. Just make sure what you're buying has a future. And one tip when it comes to income trusts, those that pay the highest dividends usually carry the highest risk. For your city, I'm Shelley Swirsky.